hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see how to use lagrange multipliers to find the extreme values of the function here we have a function f of x y z is equal to x y z also we have a constraint equation that is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 3 now the first step we have to do is we have to create another function using this constraint equation now let's see how we are going to do that here we create the function let's call that one x g of x y z okay now what we have to do is we have to bring everything to the one side in order to create a function now if we bring this 3 to this side that's going to become x square plus y square plus z square minus 3 okay that's going to be equal to this function now after we get this function what we have to do is we have to take the parcel derivative with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z for each of this function and we have to equate each other and also whatever the parcel derivative we are getting from g of x y z function we have to multiply that one by a greek letter called lambda right that lambda is the Lagrange multiplier now let's uh, see through example like let's do this for this one if i take the parcel derivative of this one with respect to x we treat y z as a constant so this is going to be just one and multiply the co multiply by the constants that's going to be just y z okay and here for the g of x y z if i take the derivative parcel derivative with respect to x this is going to be just 2x and this is constant so this is going to be zero this is going to be zero this is also going to be zero so we just get 2x okay this is parcel derivative with respect to x and uh, parcel derivative respect to y we are going to have y is a constant so that's going to be oh, i mean y x x z are constant y is going to be the derivative we are going to take so this is going to be just one so that we are going to have x z and if i do the parcel derivative res with respect to y for g of x y z function this is going to be just two y okay now we are going to do the parcel derivative with respect to z so this is going to be x y and here we are going to have 2 z now after we get this one we have to multiply the g of x y z functions parcel derivative with lambda so here this is our g of x y z parcel derivatives so we multiply all of them by lambda okay so this is our Lagrange multiplier now after we do that what we do is we multiply this one by x this one by y this one by z so this is going to be x y z is going to be 2x square lambda i'm multiplying this one by x both side and i'm going to multiply this one by y both side so that's going to become x y z is equal to 2y square lambda and i'm going to multiply this one with uh, z both side so this is going to become x y z 2 z square lambda now after we do that we can create an equal equation like we can bring this lambda to this side so if we divide everything by lambda 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 this i am bringing this lambda to this side from this one we can form a relationship because this side you can see x y z over lambda is equal to 2 x square x y z over lambda is equal to 2 y square here we have x y z over lambda is equal to 2 z square from this one we can see that 2 x square is equal to 2 y square is equal to 2 z square because both sides are equal like right? because this is equal to this one this is equal to this one so we, this is also must be equal to this one so from this one we can derive that we can cancel these two in th these three equations that's going to become x square is equal to y square is equal to z square and after that we can see that if we take square root in all of them that's going to become x y z okay now we have this one now from this one we can plug it in the constraint equation to find out our x y z values now let's go ahead and plug let's make everything x okay so from this one we know that all of them are equal so instead of y and z we can plug x so this is going to be x square plus x square plus x square that's equal to 3 so from this one we know that 3x square is equal to 3 
therefore x square must be equal to 1 from that point we know that uh, x is going to be equal to plus or minus 1 now after we find this one we have to plug it in the function to find out our extreme values there are two possibilities one function can be f111 and another one because since we are getting plus or minus 1 we can have minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay so if you plug 1 1 1 for this one 1 time 1 time 1 that's going to be just 1 okay and here if you plug minus 1 minus 1 time minus 1 that's going to be plus 1 plus 1 multiplied by minus 1 again that's that's going to become minus 1 so this is our extreme values now from this one we can find out our local maximum and local minimum and if you look at this one here this is our biggest value right this value is the local maximum local max and this is the lowest value this is our local minimum and that's how we do that i hope this helps thanks for watching